Good morning, good morning. Welcome to our live. Today is Spice uh, High Sea Day. I don't know if I took a picture yet. Oh, um, so one of our viewers sent me this and I have been uh, looking at it for a while because I love it. I just, uh, I just have been kind of just staring at it. I didn't really go in and uh, trying to do a design of it yet. I was waiting for the right opportunity. I think today is the day. So I want to do Pisces now um, because this is Pisces month. Actually, and I want, hi, love in 313. I want to do, uh, I want to do like uh, in a different month. I want a different like birthday now. Like this month, Pisces. So next month, I want to do uh, Zodiac Sun set for that. So that's my plan. Let's see that again. So the color scheme gonna be this. I'm gonna play with some green and blue and pink shade, just like that for the Pisces. Go ahead and connect myself. You are disconnected too. Mm -hmm. Do you know? ready all right and i will write in my website my website is www.tinovo.shop and customer service is kyla her phone number is 417-772-4020 i'm gonna pin it right here in the bottom hello everyone hi we're doing pisces now let me go ahead and uh, find that picture again. One of our viewers uh, sent it to us a while ago for inspiration, and I have been keeping it. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be the inspiration for today. Yes. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be moderate. Not gonna be like too hard. It's gonna be not too easy, not too hard. All right. So let's turn the camera around. Good morning. Good morning. Press on. What are we gonna uh, teach you today? Let me show you again. Hold on. Just a second. Okay. So we're doing Pisces now, and one of our viewers sent me this picture, and I love this color. I don't know something about it. It's not that simple. It's not just green, blue, and pink. The obviously, this air right here is what make it pop. So that I'm gonna start out with bright blue, of course. This right here might be stained glass gel. This little dark blue right here. So, hi, Gentilini. Hello. So that, that, I, I love that. I love how it glow, too. There's got to be some way you can just get that result. Um, and then everything around it is dark, so I'll figure nude. See, like this nude, and then there's going to be some, like, some crystal, some, like, uh, AB crystal in between. Hi, hello, Baltimore, Maryland. Hi, Jen. Hello. Hi, Peach, Erica, Smiley. Oh, hello, hello from Germany. Hello, Dalulu. Okay. Hi from India, pretty nails. Let's put it over here. All right, so we go and else. Hi from Africa. Hi Lunula. All the stickers trip you, you last night are sold out. <gasps> I'm sure because of you, they pay you advertisement. What? No, no, no. 
she said they should pay you for advertisement. No, 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 it's me. It's me. There's no day. It's me and Cindy. We we are together. Uh, let me see. Uh, Tino Voda Sharp. No way. I don't believe it. I have a lot of stickers. Then I have to rebuy it, which means it's going to be sold out in the wild. I tell myself it's not going to happen, but yet again, this money time. Oh, no. It's still. No, 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 no. It's not sold out. It's not sold out. Okay. So what you do is you go on you go on stickers. Okay. This is the category sticker. You click on it. And then that the stickers go uh go stripe or chrome, okay. But uh, but please just buy like one. I need to restock it. I need to restock. Okay. But uh, that's uh rose gold. That's silver rose gold and gold right there. Oh, I need to buy that Jen sticker again. I have too many sources, so sticker is. I don't. I don't keep good track of it all right now let's start well Pisces now so I am taking out 10 nude these are metal fingers okay so 10 nude hi Ghana hi from Ghana Okay, press it in all the way down, all the way down. Mm -hmm. Here, so that is the middle finger. Now we have to do the ring finger. We're gonna do two fish in two hands, in two fingers. Okay, let's see. Top gel is a base coat. No, it's a it's a, actually a top coat. It's not a base coat. Top gel is uh in the white. When are you and R in one product, which means if it no white, if it like this, if it the gel colors that are no white, usually it's also it doesn't need base coat. I always put base coat on. Cure this. I always put base coat on with a manicure, not with an acrylic set. Make sure. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Okay. okay. So, we're going to start using art gel to draw the fish right away. Let's use some black art gel. And today I'm gonna play with color, but no pigment today. I'm gonna play with fairy gel. Uh, part of it because I'm almost like this is my last bottle, and I think I have like half of it left. Uh, so I'm in a pig pigment based crisis. So um, I have to find an alternative. I'm gonna use fairy gel. I'm gonna use ombre brush today. So this is for people that that are still um, in the process of adapting to pigments then today gonna be different okay gonna play with gel today okay two of this now i am gonna use a 10 millimeter brush make sure i clean this hi julia nothing is working she's in the zone you know you know usually when they're in the zone Today, just me. Okay, now I am going to do the fish. I am gonna make it up. Let's see. So I'm not gonna do a yin yang simple, okay? But it's gonna look like a it's gonna look like a yin yang. So the tail start right here. And it's go over here just like this. So these are tails. Okay. So from here, I'm do I'm going down and I'm doing going across to make a curve. And when I get here, I turn back. And stop right here. See that? You can do that. 
Here I do the same things. This is a tail, this is where it's end. I am going up. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn diagonally. And then I'm gonna turn back like this. Okay. Just like that. Now, this side, you want to start about right here, and you want to go in out. Okay, look at the distance. You want to turn back and stop right here. Drawing the mouth of the fish is one little curve and then two little curves like a, like a W. Okay. That is for the mouth. Same thing over here. Give it a distance. Give it a dot. Hello, the anxious nail tag. Hi. Slant it out and do a curve all the way in. Just like this. Okay. And then the mouth, same thing. This is the middle. You go curve, one curve. Then two curve. That is the mouth of fish. And we're not gonna draw the eye yet. We're gonna put a diamond in the eye. Okay, so this we're gonna draw a fin. Now watch carefully. So start from here. Okay. You slant it out to about right here. So view this at the triangles. Okay. And, and then here. You do a curve, but a wavy curve like this. It's not really a curve. I go too fast. Okay, here again. One, going down. Now, see if you are seven millimeters. Now, hi, uh, Isandra. Hello, Isandra. Okay, now I am gonna draw the tails. Let's keep the seven millimeters. I think it's gonna be my friend in this uh, little adventures. Since it's shorter, lot of curve with this fish. Okay, so there is a tail, okay, and we're going to draw it out. So when you curve, when you go curve and then you curve up like this, let's, let's continue the curve. So let's keep curving to the right. Okay, before I continue I should do the other hand so I don't get confused on my pattern again so I'm curving to the right and then I cut up okay so I'm curving to the right and I curve down okay now oh and then I cut up and then I curve to the right a little bit more so I curve to the Left a little bit more like this. Okay. Okay. So now, do the same here. Uh, let's start right in the middle of the tail. Start this one. And you slanted it, but kind of do it in a wavy like fashion. Right here. Like that. Okay. Same thing here going up like a V. Like a V shape. 
this, it's got to do a curve. Okay. Same thing here. Now, start to create wave. Just like this. Wave in here also. Okay. From here, it's turn out. Now, we still have more thing to do. Oh, is that, is that from Belgium's? Okay, now, you kind of curve out. Like this. See that? You curve out, and then here, you start to curve up. Okay. Here, you go going up before you start to connect this. So that's the thing. I'm not going to draw the fin on the other side. This one also the same things. Curve down, go out, and then curve down again. Actually, this side have room for the fin. Okay. Mm, let's just draw a little bit right here, just in case. Good, good, good. All right. Now I am going to cure this. And this, and take out the fairy gels. And it blue. What is the weather like, Chen? Today is, today is a good day. It's not too sunny, but it's cloud. It's just light cloudy. It's kind of beautiful, actually. It's like bright outside, but it's not like sunny. If you know what I mean. It's cloudy, but it's not gloomy. It's like bright. It's, it's really pretty. I want to go out. Have some fairy chairs. And uh, let's see. I need like a white. Let's just take our white polish. Oh, it's beautiful outside. It's bright. It's bright outside. Okay, so put back my art shells. Now, um, uh, I'm gonna take out a milk. Top coat, okay. But I don't want like the transparent. I, I want like a, a white. I just don't want a solid white. So I'm gonna take some white art gel and just kind of mix it together. Just make sure that it's easy to blend. And the brush I'm going to use is a pointy brush. Let's go ahead and paint it in the fish. Some white on the tail too. Slide like this. And some on the fin. Now, I'm gonna ombre this out. I don't 
use a clear top coat because I already have some um, some transparency in here. So it's already have like a top coat element in here already, like a lubricant. That's why I add in um, milk, like a from top coat. You can use a top coat too, it doesn't matter. It can like, act like a lubricant because um, pure gel is very uh, opaque. It'll be harder to blend. You need you will need to lubricate your brush with top coat. But we already make it semi-transparent, so it should be easy to blend. Now I'm going to clear this. And do the same thing to here, around brush. And then I'm gonna start blending. It's like this. Just blend a little bit on the fin. You don't have to go crazy on the fin. Here. Now is when we use fairy gel. I'm gonna take blue fairy gel and I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the fish. Ooh. And then blue right here. Blue right here, just a little. And some blue right here. Okay. Same to here. Fairy gel, apply right in the middle of the fish. Blue. It is a bright, bright blue. Remember, it's very chair. It's very bright. It's made out of powders. I want to achieve that bright, bright color, like in the pictures. Okay, some blue right here, and some blue right here. Okay, now I'm gonna blend it out. You're gonna have to do a zodiac horoscope every month, you know. Yes, step. I was just discussing this morning. <sighs> we think the same thing. This morning, um, I discussed uh, on the live that uh, we definitely need. Um, do you know what uh what zodiac next month? Maybe I can just process it right now. Why I'm doing the fish? But I wonder uh, what zodiac it is next month. Um. I'm gonna blend this out too. Beautiful. If you're out of line like this, don't worry. You can clean it before you key at it. No worry. Blend this out too. And blend this out too. I'm going. Oh, it's your birthday! Oh, you're Pisces. Yeah, you're gonna love this. It's gonna get. Mm, it's about to get colorful very quick. This blue, but like people like, oh, it's a fish, it's blue. Mm, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be rainbow, but not a typical like leprechaun rainbow. It's gonna be like, it's just gonna be good. It's gonna be like a fantasy, like a dreamy fantasy, spicy. Okay, so there. Yes, let's go ahead and kill. Pop it in. Doing this too. Airy, oh, okay, okay. It's a fire sign, and Airy is a fire sign. You have a goat with a horn, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, maybe I can do a goddess with horn on both sides. 
I already know what to do. I'm gonna pay. Gonna be like warrior. Like a warrior princess. Yes. I'm excited for the next uh next month's design. So I'm just blending it out since it's powder. I don't really use top coat neither. I haven't did my brush in uh, any top coat. It's a powder, so I just keep drop. See, it's very easy to blend with powders. It's not staining. It can move. It's not staining. Like, polish. Feel this. Painting um ombre with uh ombre with fairy gel, ombre with powder. I would say it's like um. Because I wouldn't say it's like ombre with a gel. Uh, with a gel, I would say ombre with a. Not acrylic, neither. It's kind of different. It looks like ombre and acrylic because eventually you spread out as all powders. So it's like ombre and acrylic. I don't know if you ever do that before. Mixing acrylic and gel together, like a, a powder together. Okay, so I'm ombre this out. And I do want to leave just a tiny bit of white. I don't want it to be all pink. See that? It's still light lightish pink but it's not all pink i'm um long term hospital oh hi i preview uh hi i preview i don't meet you someday let me see hola hola odd hands okay so i am gonna plant this too i don't want it to take too much of the blue I'm gonna blend it backward. I don't want it to take too much. Okay. Let me see. Right here too. A little bit right here. Just like that. Right. Blend it out. <laughs> Just like this. And I will say, take a pointy brush and do a scoop like this. Okay, so it's so it's like pink here. Here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, you know what? The, the fin. I plan to do pink, but let's let's do salmon. Yes. I wonder if it's good with blue. The only one way to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some salmon in there too. And then some pink right in the meadows. I'm gonna tilt it sideways when I blend in a small area with the ombre brush. Here's this. Just a little bit. Good, I'm still have some more. Just like three seconds. I have some pink right here. And fairy gel is very, uh, it's glass steel friendly. It doesn't wrinkle when you flask here. Okay, see that? Little pink with little salmon all oh, mixing in. And I need some green. Wonder where is my green fairy tale? Listen, green fairy tale. Oh, it's right on the table. What day is today? Friday. No. I wonder what kind of day today. Oh. 
I don't know, but I'm sitting here just missing the hell out of you. It's like I'm ready for vacation. And I'm doing like not an easy set neither. It's like a crazy set. <laughs> Damn it, why am I doing it to myself? I'm ready for vacation. I want to go out and like. Mm. I cannot jump because my back hurt mm. right now. Mm. But I want to do something similar. Just... Paint the town. I want to paint the town tonight. Overwhelming feeling and admission because I found this and I'm sitting there having all these little sentimental. Oh, you guys. Got... Oh. Let me show you something. So, um, this is a microphone, a karaoke microphone that you can connect to YouTube and you can sing like a singer. It's in my closet. You can try. Okay. So, if you know my story, you should know I, I stare at it once in a while. I should go to the closet and look at it. I, I mean, I didn't sing every time, but I'm just kind of get lost in it. Kind of get lost in the fantasy that I can sing. Okay, now. Blend this out too. Okay. Actually, I do need some uh, fairy gel in here. Some blue fairy gel here. I don't want to leave it like white, white. No, no, Kitaro. I wouldn't sing something. You kidding? No way. Right now? <laughs> oh, please. A lot, a lot of people have tried. A lot of people have attempted to make me sing. It's, uh, it don't happen often. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's happened accidentally. Kid is. Yes, and then you will need stained glass gels. This is a deep blue, you guys. It's gonna be perfect for the pictures. I'm gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna use it again, obviously. Okay, now. I am gonna take the pointy brush again, dip some blue in, and go whee, right, whee. right in the meadows. Okay, and look at that. I am gonna blend that out. Can you already tell how it's gonna become? Uh -huh. I can already tell. Okay, so elongate this. Ooh. <sighs> Ombre brush. Mm, I can tell already this is going to be smooth selling. Smooth selling. <laughs> yeah. I already see the vision already. I already see no, what's the index and the pinky gonna be? And I already, yeah, I'm so I'm stepping ahead. Easy, easy breezy selling from here on out. Yeah, I'm stepping ahead. I'm, I'm I'm steps ahead. Here this, full here, and let's take out um, let's take out the unicorn glitz aqua color in small size for ladies. Hmm, let's put it right here. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's continue with this. So again, pink. Solid pin right here, since it's on the side, you don't want any effect, you just solid pin pink. And I'm braid out. But don't crack it too far. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna blend it on the side like this to the right. Then back to the left. I'm gonna like that. Cause I don't want it to cover too much of the blue. Blend out on the white too. Sometimes I just use my finger. 
I wear gloves, so it's perfect. But not after an acrylic set that usually have uh, dust in it. I wouldn't do it. But this is a clean pair of gloves. It's perfect. Like a two or two. I should sell gloves. I sell gloves. <laughs> well, one, one of these days, I'm going yeah, have options for everything. Yeah. Inexpensive, not cheap, inexpensive. <laughs> Coral. All right. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna use a uh, pointy brush to blend this by smashing this on on the edge like this, just smashing it, clean my brush, and do it again. Cause it's such a small detail. I want you an ombre brush for a small detail like this. Here it is. Just flash here. You should sell t-shirt with your logo. Um, that's a good idea. Doesn't have talk about that, but um, not yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get yeah, I love selling swag and all that, but not yet. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy. What if I sell t-shirt like this? Well, I thought we'd start off with uh, uh, like handkerchief bandanas and scarves. It's the logo that way it'd be kind of universal. They would put them on their uh, purses. Yeah. But each one will come with an authentic Kino nail. Oh. Mask. Oh. Right. And take my, my ombre brush. He said it has to be less t shirts, right? Oh, hell yes. Not everyone can wear Tino. You have to be um, open minded and free. You have to be free. <sighs> Maybe we should call our brand Free Peoples. Or. Justina. Justina. Ooh. Like in Will and Grey, just Jack. Justina. Kill this. All right. Now, I am going to put some black on. Shadow is no white. Okay. I'm going to work with glitter later. So I want to work with all no white. Because I'm going to put the glitter on the fish. So, um, if your black polish is sticky then after you do this in Kia you should cover the whole nail with no white top coat because before you do glitter you do need it to be no white I will go through this in a second go ahead and paint it black on the bottom here and let's go ahead and blend this out a little bit with the ombre brush just stay in one place like this Slowly, just go up like this, just slowly. Just stay there. Go left and right, left and right, left and right. And then slowly going up. Stay there, left and right, left, right, left, right. Just stay there, don't go anywhere. Okay, move up again. Like this. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. <sighs> okay, now. The edge right here. Smudge it up. There, that's your ombre. Okay, now, hear this? Same thing on the other side, but on top. So, from the cuticle, when you climb cuticle, start at the cuticle going down, and don't go down all the way, just going down like this. Cover more space, but leave a thin outline around the fish, because you have to do that with a liner brush, or else it's going to mess you up. Line of brush number seven, uh, seven millimeters. Go ahead and draw in. Oh, with shadows. And since it's a liquid gel, it's gonna sell level pretty quickly. So it's gonna level with what on uh, on top up here. So no worry if it's not smooth. It will smooth out. That's why you use uh, gel polish. It's 
So it's going to be day and night. Okay. And we're going to paint it the moon and the sun revolving around the fish. Revolving around? Yeah, floating around. Ready for the ombre? Oh. Okay, clean brush. Okay. Ombre brush. Ombre brush. Okay, now clean brush. Go here. Toss the stroke down, but don't go down. Don't keep going down. Just stay here. And go left, right, left, right. But just stay exactly right here until everything is blend. Left, right, left, right. Okay. Now, clean your brush. Wipe it on the paper towels. Clean brush, okay? Again, on the edge. Stay here. Just left, right, left, right. Okay, clean your brush again. Over here again, same thing. Okay. Can go back a little bit. The glare got me. I didn't see it clearly. Okay, there you go. All right, here. Now, I want to make sure the glitter doesn't stick on this. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous when I work with. I mean, can you imagine? Glitter is so dangerous to me. Oh. oh. So I gotta make sure. Let's do a clean pigment brush. Let's do clean. Okay. Please don't stick on my black. Let's see. <gasps> it stick a little bit. Oh. Oh, it's gone away now. Okay, so I maybe let it cool down. I forgot that I didn't let it cool down. Okay, it stick a little bit, but I'm gonna brush it and slowly go away. So I have to let it cool when it just go out of the machine. It's too hot. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. So while I'm let it cool, I am go getting a sticky, and with the sticky, I'm gonna apply it on the fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. Sure. Doesn't have been working like for like a few days. Yeah. Okay, now I'm ready to test it again. Should be cool already. Okay, good, good, good. It doesn't stick on it. So I hope that you learned something up by watching this. I hope you have learned something about glitter and gel. You know, how do you see at the beginning when it stick together? It's not because the gel is sticky, it's because when it just go out of the machine, it's still not, um, it's not done, done. It need to breathe. You know what I mean? It's not done, done. So right now, when I let it cool down, it's done, done. It's, it's, it's like concrete when it's here completely by cooling down because it's like coming out the oven. When it come out of the machine, it's still like hardish. Still like 3D jelly. If it come out of the machine and you rub on like um like a uh, your nail or your glove and you touch it, it's gonna be like smudgy looking because it's not like it's too hot. You know, you have to let it breathe. Let it breathe. That's why I should name it. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Okay. See this stick a little bit. That means this area is still a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> because he's the one that just come out of the oven. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Now, let's go ahead and close the lid. And we are going, we're not going to sugar this. Uh oh, oh, no, we're not going to sugar the fish at all. We're going to okay. use sticky and apply it flat. Okay, well, I was trying to figure out what sugar gel does. Mm, sugar gel is just a texture. If you use texture fat, it's have everything that texture fat gel have with its non cell level. It's just the thing about sugar gel is it's sugary. So it's for whatever effect that you're eyeing on, like sandy. You know, you can chrome it. It's no white. So you can chrome it in any color. Like if you do a peacock, you don't want scaly textures. Or if you want 
to push your ketchup on the face, you can. I just don't do that because I work with color this time. But if you want to do like all white sugar gel or black sugar gel on the face, and you chrome the face, it looks scaly. But I'm working with like bright color this time, so. So I have to use different methods. But sugar gel is a texture that it can be whatever you want on the pictures. Pointy, pointy brush. It's, it's um, what you see is what you get basically. It's sugar. So if you want like any texture that needed, any look that needed, that need the sugary look. I say scale, sand, um, what else? Mm, like a, a gilded look where you have um, sugar gel texture and you have gold and then you have um, some texture gel or something and you do like emboss design on top. I can do that too. Okay, so I'm going to take sticky and I'm going to apply it on the fish. The, the top gel on here is no wipe too. Glitter, I'm not going to stick on it neither. Yeah, so sugar gel is what you see is what you get. Like um like texture gel and metal fat gels, um people couldn't really tell by looking at it because they have to know what it done. But sugar gel you can tell by looking at it that um whatever the texture is, whatever the design that needs that texture, then you use that. I think dry alcohol was I hacking around with Instagram. Let me see. That's alcohol. Chrome dehydration had acid in it. Oh yeah, you, you try um you just make liquid uh liquid chrome. <laughs> it's so cute. It's just like powder chrome, really. Can sugar cat's wants to know she's still confused. Can sugar gel be a substitute for sugaring if you're allergic to some chemicals that are curly? No. No, no. Uh, depend on the sugar. Um, I say no because if you draw on a line and you sugar that, the purpose is not to make that line sugary. The purpose is to make that line matte and emboss by taking acrylic powder into it. So that's different. Now, um, sugar gel is actually make a surface look like sugars. So if you use sugar gel to draw a line, it's going to look sugary. It's going to look like sandy. That's what it's going to look. But when you pour acrylic onto a gel, that's not the purpose. It's to make it rough. It's not the purpose. The purpose is to make it emboss and thick and matte. That's why people pour acrylic onto gels. Um, but sugar gel is the look. Like it looks sugary. It looks rough. The sandpapers. It looked bubbly. <laughs> so that was through the gel is it's it's a product based on look. Like whenever you need any that I, I wouldn't say that is for beginner unless you you know, you like to draw beaches or sandy, but it's for someone who draw like like let's say I'm in a painting, I, I, I bump into something that I say, I don't want this flat. I want it to have like sandy textures and then I want to crumb it so it look like it have texture on it you know you cannot do that with acrylic if I mix acrylic on on to a gel it's gonna look smooth the gel gonna smooth it all out it's not gonna look sugary at all so the sugar gel it's gonna look sugary it's gonna be like not smooth if you know what I mean it's gonna have sandy texture on it am I am I explaining it yeah. correctly yeah. sorry it's, sometimes it's hard for me to explain but that's that what it does. Is it's just based on look. Yeah, if you acrylic or if, even even if you mix glitter, like like medium size glitter into a gel, it's not gonna be rough. It, the gel it just somehow smooth it out. So that one thing about sugar gel it, it's not smooth. It's really rough. Like I said, that made him understand it a lot better. Mm -hmm. Like an ice cream scoop, scoop yesterday, if I if I use like a, a gel or normal gel or any kind of gel, it kind of looks smooth, like, like, like smoothie, like whipped cream. It kind of look like whipped cream. And I like, no, I want my ice cream scoop to look like when you just scoop an ice cream out, it have all these little holes in it. It have all this texture of an ice cream scoop. 
like real homemade ice cream scoop. I like that's why I used a uh, sugar gel yesterday because I I need it. So it's not a product where when you start out and you like I need sugar gel. No, it's not that. Um, what you need is texture gel and metal effect gel and all that. But you, you doesn't need sugar gel. But it's something that are nice to have. So it's not priority. It's not like if you beginner and and you want to have a kit, that's not the first thing you buy. But if you are you already have some of the product, then that would be nice to have. You know, when you have have extra money, you have, buy a bottle of sugar gel and you just leave it there for for any day that you need the looks. So it's something nice to have. Like um, like like when you first buy makeup, you know, you you don't start out with like something crazy. You start out with foundation and and primers and uh uh what is toner, bronzer, whatever it is. And then whenever you have a kit made, then you start going buying like glittery eyeshadows, like a spring collection. You know what I mean? <laughs> because why well, you need glitter eyeshadow where can I find it <laughs> it's addition <laughs> okay I'm gonna wait for it let's see this one is it key already oh it's key already I'm gonna wrap uh, the um, glitter on this is small by the way I am gonna use a clean pigment brush make sure I clean it thoroughly here we go cannot turn back from this point if the background is not for prayer, that's it. It's going to be all over. At this point, there's no going back. See, without preparation, you'll be in big trouble, ladies. If all of this is sticky, you'll be in huge trouble. That takes understanding of your product. You have to understand every product that you put on and keep track of it because if your product is sticky, you have to know that. You have to know that and you have to see what's coming. So before you paint the fish and everything, it would be very wise. Before you paint the sticky on, it would be very wise to cover everything with a no white top coat and wait for it to cool before you put on the sticky. If you were to work with, with if you don't have top gel like this and if you don't have shadow gel, which both are no wipe, if you don't have that, you have to make sure that you prepare the background with a no wipe surface so you not end up being in trouble because you have been in a lot of trouble see this at this point there is no turning back i am going in all over so there's no there is no dodging the glitter from the background mm -mm. if you want to apply it smoothly and flat it gotta be like this see that so it's gonna be flat nice and flat so you flatten out so it looks chromey when it's flat. I need to do that other one too. I didn't. Yeah, see that? So it looked, it looked, I don't, I couldn't describe it. It looked like scale ish, like, like a, like a skin of fish. It looked like fish skin, fish skin effect. I need to do this too. I can um, press it right here. Let's flat it out. Oh, I didn't put uh, sticky on this one. Gosh. Put some sticky on here. Just a thin layer, nothing crazy. And I am gonna go ahead and take matte. There's some glitter right here on the side. There you go. Okay, it's gonna rub right here ish. Okay. Make sure that it's all glitter free, not even a single stick. Now, matte top coat, everything's. 
when you mad it because I'm still gonna draw it on top of it. I'm gonna add some white highlight on it. So at this point, this is our first layers. I'm gonna go ahead and seal these layers. Make sure to lightly go over the glitter because you don't want to drag. That's why before you even top coat, oh, that's another thing. Before you even put on top coat, you have to make sure that there's no loose glitters. Let me explain it further. Um, when I take glitter and then put it on here, right? That some glitter that will stick on the surface because of the sticky and then there's loose extra, extra glitters. Now, you don't want any extra glitter, like at all. You want it make sure you dust to a point where the only glitter that are left on the surface is the glitter that stick on the surface. The red have to go because if not, if not, then when you put on top coat, what happened is the top coat, it would drag the glitter everywhere. You're going to be in bigger trouble because what you're going to do, you're going to wipe it up with ash stone. What you going to do? You're going to be in huge trouble because now they're not just glitter on top of a surface the glitter mix in the top coat on top of the surface let me make sure that all the glitter is clearing up here i'm covered in glitters it's every boy's dream to be in cover in glitters okay now make sure you really really make it glitter free okay because when you put on the top coat that's it no more loose glitters Cause if you have glitter left on the surface, oh, it, it drag it around and make crazy. It go crazy. So you have no loose glitter anywhere. Kill this. Look at this blue. Oh, oh, this is huge. Damn it! I forgot. I've got to put the blue in. It's okay. I can do it. I can still do it. Because it's stained glass. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <sighs> Make sure you don't have that reaction with your client or else. That's $10 off your service. <laughs> Make sure you don't have. You don't Make sure you go, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then sneak it in on the side. <laughs> See, it's stained glass, so it's forgiving. It's still going to show you the glitters. Stained glass go both ways. See how proud I can change your life and save you so much trouble. <laughs> Without stained glass, it wouldn't even show the glitters. So make sure that when you go, oh, you go, oh, it's, it's oh, this is so beautiful. And then, and then you just sneak the rest onto the side when they don't notice. Okay, now. You take out some art gel. You take it out. Okay. And um, this right here, let's use this palette and distribute. I am going to use first a 10 millimeter for long line. But when I get to a short line, I'm going to switch. I'm going to remember to switch brush this time because sometimes if I don't prepare, I usually don't. I'm switch in the middle of the process. But sometimes I'm on a pen line. I like you one brush on the <coughs> too, but no, I need to switch. So I am gonna have white art gels and it's gonna go along the body. Okay, make sure you, the black is right in the middle so it look like the fish is like shiny. You give dimension to it. Let's put it that way. See how I leave the black right in the middle. This one too, with the fin. A 
some flash. Let me turn it down a little bit. What is electrical surge, Dustin? Why is it happening? <sighs> Oh, I got electrical surge sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it's only that lamp. Yeah. Okay. See that I'm flowing out of line. Okay. That is something not. It's not in the Bible. It's not in the nail Bible. It's a rebellion. Rebellion. See that? Out of land. Not in land, out of land. So when it comes to do drawing flowy thing, it's usually happening. See that? That's just a touch. Depend on preference. See? Okay. Now the fin also. Want me to outline again? Let me outline again. Because it's sheer, it's a transparent thing. What am I doing? It's beautiful. Come on. Something was taken over for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now feeling this one too. Let's go ahead and put a runstone in here. I'm curious. No, let's put a runstone later because I have to choose the colors. Curious. I have to choose the color too. I wonder what color the eye is going to be. It could be white opal. It could be a sapphire blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need milk top coat later to further create the illusion that the fish is see through. The fin is see through, not the fish is see through. Oh my god, cat claw you have to what now? March Buston? I have no idea. Do you guys know what March Buston is? I have no idea. I don't even know what my Buston no, is. I think it's Jane Oh. No, I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aquamarine. Ooh. Okay. That's beautiful. Aquamarine. Mine is December's. My bust on the December's. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. My bust on is December. Here it is. Now, you ready? Milk. Oh, searching the topaz. I was searching the topaz. I'm late, so I probably topaz. I'm December. That's in November, baby. So he probably searching. I don't know which one comes first. Um, the milk. Probably searching further than topaz.
some nail top curls. Add it on right here. Like it, care this. Hello, Karen. Okay. Okay, good. Care this. Now, let's see. This, I want to draw a moon in black art gel right on here. The moon. Mm. Becky, can you turn the hand over for me, please? Thank you. Okay, now. Draw moon this way. Press in the middle curve. And curve on the side too. Now you go back and you readjust it. Let's do the inside first. Make sure it's nice and curved. But keep the pawn pointy. A little more curve. Very skinny brush. Just touch it. That's require a gel that are opaque. So you don't need much on the surface of a skinny brush. You just you just touch it and there'll be color on it. You don't want anything that sheer ish to draw this on. Thank you, thank you. Now, this one, I'm going to draw the uh, the sun or the star. Let's go ahead and clear this. For so this, I am going to draw a circle. I'm still using the 7 millimeter, you guys. Now, make sure my brush is nice and thin. I'm going to go ahead and do one thin line out. Make sure the end is like a needle. It requires your brush to be super, super thin. See, the head of my brush is very thin. I can press a little bit, but as I go out, I have to reduce the pressure right away. So it can be thin like a needle. Okay, now I'm going to do four little sun in the middle, not as high as the other, like medium-ish. And in between, another one, but shorter. Oof. Oh. Little rush. I'm a little rush on it. Not a little rush. A little distract. I was thinking about something else. Was it <sighs> it's food related. It was food related. Because I already finished the koi fish, so... Uh, 
I have boots thrown on there. So the Sprite element is done for me. I know what to do exactly from now. So my mind just has a wonder. Look at this. Okay, now I am gonna paint twinkles, white twinkles, all of this. White art gels. Go ahead and um, use a engraver to go ahead and have some dot out of here. And with a nice clean brush, I can go ahead and drag it out. That'll be easier. Yeah. Yeah, because that already gel on the surface. Yeah, that'd be easier. Sometimes little things like that make all the difference. You forget that. Sometimes I forget to dot it first. Sometimes you think that it saves you time by not dotting it first, but really you're going to spend more time drawing. <sighs> okay, see that? Hear that? Now dot it first. One dot. Right here, to that. There you go. Now there's gel on the surface. You don't even have any to have any gel on your brush. You just drag it out. That should be the easiest way because then your brush is already nice and thin and there's no gel on it. That should be very, very easy to do. Yes. It's not about doing it is about knowing why you do it so now i know why because that's all the gel on here i just drag it out if i have gel on my brush and i have to draw everything without a dot then i have to rely on the amount of gel on my brush okay this too let's go ahead and slap nude on the rest of the pinky and index again this Hand nude. Oh, um, but first, let's go ahead and take out a stone. Let me see. Uh, I feel like opals. Which one? I feel like pink opals. Either pink opal or AB sapphire. Pink opal. Okay, so this is AB sapphire. Let me see. No and no. I need autumn. Because I'm gonna incorporate go element into this. I need arm. Yeah. What do you think, Dustin? You think autumn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try um, March burst stone for the eye. That's alpha marine. You right? You right? You might be right. Oh my god! Alpha marine. Ah, alpha marine. Oh my god! I think I think this is the one. It's <gasps> good. Very good. Yes, alpha marine. Definitely, I'm 
Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, you saved me. You saved me from the torment of taking up the stone and platters and uh, do it because, yeah, I was, I was, I was there with the autumn, but I'm not like wow. You know what I mean? Yes, aquamarine. That's good. Okay, now. I'm gonna take crystal, uh, crystal glue, crystal magic glue, and put out some glue. Open the lid just a little bit more. And this, sometimes the glue is dry in here in the lid, and it can close completely. And most people they will want to cut this or cut this. I'm just I'm just putting the lid on just like that. It's never really like getting dry or anything. Okay. Now I am going to add a dot of glue here and take some aquamarine. Uh, not kit. I will. I will. I plan to do it today and have her uh have her boy on this week. I will because I'm so I, oh, I plan to have it for a long time. Um but you can search for A B stone and you can buy A B stone. It just it just that I wanna make kits so people don't have to search and all I need to do because what I do is that I have to um take all the big stone and I have to like uh piece it all together and take a picture and video of it. And then that is when I give to Cindy and she prizes it. It's gonna be quick. I um let's let's plan on Monday. I'm gonna do it today and send her a few picture tomorrow. This aquamarine. Yes, I will. I will. I will. Because um, I'm glad you asked because a couple of days ago, that's why I thought too. A couple of days ago, I like, man, I really need to uh, put on the pink opal. Like this opal right here. Oh my God. People have been asking me left and right. And, and I showed them where to buy. I showed them gym time and the link. But I know that if I have a kit, it'd be so easy. It'd be so easy. You just pop in the cart and start buying on the side and all that crap. Just pop in the cart. So I'm glad you asked. I mean, we we uh, we in the same frequency. Okay. So I am gonna paint one nails and pop it in while I paint the others. Index and pinky. Zodiac gem kit. Um, well, my goal is to have every color available. That's my goal. On crystal, that's just how I am. That's just how I am. When I have something, I want every color. I'd rather have a little bit in every colors. When it comes to crystal, because in every size, because I do want to have asset of it whenever I want. You know, a con come in and say, oh, I want some uh, something over. I want to be able to just have it. Even if I don't have a lot, I have it in every size, in every colors. Okay, now I am going to have a pen the tip. The tip, I want to keep it elegant. It's not like this, not elegant, but this is a design set. So this, I need to tone down a little bit right here. Just tone down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so... It is time for us. Let's go ahead and take some um, art gel. Take some art gel. Okay. Actually, let me try that technique that Red Iguana. Uh, the other day. Oh, Tim, Tim had the other day. 
I want to try the angle brush technique. Let's see. See other brush? I have another brush. Oh, this one right now. Angle brush. Okay. I'm going to try that. Okay, so now I want to do a French line. I want to do like, uh, like just a little bit of white on the French tip. Like on, on the curve, I just want a little bit of white. The other day, uh, Nail by Tim, he had this video where he used an angle brush to draw French. I want to try that. Let's see. We don't want to be French. We do want, uh, oh my God, a round French. <gasps> It is magical. Oh my god, it's such a good idea. Oh my god, yes. That is brilliant. Look at that. I should paint it on the left first. Cause I can see my right. I can see my left when I paint it my right. Okay, so now I'm going to just drag it down. I just want to start with a clear AB kit with more, um, more round side and some fancy shape. Um, so what I do is that I will paint it a kit, uh, and that uh, that kit will have round side only, and then I do a fancy shape, and that fancy shape, the only fancy shape. I I set I separate it like that. I separate it like that because. What if people buy in round shape and they, they they doesn't want fancy shape? You know what I mean? And if what if somebody just like fancy shape but no round shape? So I'm gonna separate it. I'm gonna separate it so you can buy two kit. You can buy two kit. Uh, the reason why I make it, I want it to be as um, inexpensive as possible. I'm eyeing around twenty five bucks, um, and twenty five bucks. But it's a little low for Cindy, so she might be 35 or something, but at least it's not over 100, you know what I mean? So people can have fun buying it. I don't have fun buying it if um if it's too crazily expensive. Okay, so I am going to take 10 millimeters. go over just a little bit but not much not much because i am gonna go over with black or some kind of jewelry on the edge um this one is inspired by the picture um the koi fish only inspired by the color but this one is inspired by the picture too okay now can you please do a side a mixed color in the different uh in different size as well a mixed color in a different size as well um no 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 uh ombre ombre i'm gonna use an ombre brush no karen um what i do is like, let's say i will make a kit on different side in one colors and then i make a kit on another side in one colors mainly because um right now before previous to this that is my idea of making like like a five color kit but i discover that's a bad idea because what if people like like red and green, but they don't like gold and silver, and you have to buy the whole kit like that. So what I do is I, I separate it out. I do one colors, so you can buy one color with many size, and then you can buy another one. That's why I want to make it inexpensive, so people can buy you know all the color they want. Cause a kit that are too expensive, then people don't want to buy more than one kit. But imagine if like twenty five bucks. That should be fun shopping, right? Okay, hear this. La, 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 la. Gotta remember, I do my left first because now my left, I cannot see my right at all. So, so I'm going down. This is so brilliant. Okay, see now I'm doing my right. Now I'm doing my, my right. So I see my left now. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Going down. I'm so hungry for something, some Mexican food. I am so hungry for some Mexican food. Okay, now I am going to take 10 millimeters and kind of clean it up a little bit. Because when I use fairy gels, when I go to what this area right here, I, I don't want to, um, I want the color to be a little bright. Because that's why I need white here. That's it. That's why I need white here. Um, let's, let's compare it to this now. Just to see the proportion. Let's go through there. I'm telling myself I'm not going to go crazy on this. But anything can happen. Happen. You just never know. Never know what I'm in the mood for. It could generate quick. Hear this. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, what's this? I like chicken uh, chimichanga, please. <laughs> I like um, I like taco lengua taco. You know what lengua is? Now, I am going to use a uh, pink. Lengua is tongues. Cow tongues. Oh, my God. It's so good. It is so good. I tricked Dustin one time. Um, God, Dustin, like, ew, tongues. I don't want tongue. Ew. I, 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 okay. I'm just order for me. So I order two tongue taco. The moment we get it, he starts smelling the taco, right? And we start driving. It's a long time ago when we still drive. So we start driving, and he like, man, it smells good. Let me get a bite of it. The moment he took his first bite, we drove right back without shame at all. That I recognize that lady was smiling. She's like, oh, yeah, I know. I know. Two taco? Two tongue taco? Who does that? So we order uh, 10 taco. <laughs> and we finish it in like the 15-minute period. <laughs> Oh, we went back uh, three times. Yes, we do. We went back. We give it a break, and then we go back, and then give another break, and at night we go back. It's twenty-four hour, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. And uh, let's clean this angle brush. Now, before uh, I use this angle for brush for cleaning, just because of the dynamic structure of it. So. It kind of makes sense that it's great for French. Look at that. It's here for cleaning. See that? It can turn for you. Okay. Now, kill this. Tongues. Tongue is good. Jen, do you like tongues? It's so good. People, people think tongue is gross because of the skin outside, but you have to know they de-skin it. So inside, it's just a muscle. And it's the only thing in an animal that doesn't mess with, because also, like, you, if you buy a steak at the store, oh, it's so nasty to mess with it. They put color in, food color in it, and little red colors. That's not blood. It's blood, than... blood get darker over time. That's not blood. That's, it's red. It's, it's, it's fried red. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's... Into red 65. That's why we eat uh, duck instead of chicken because beef, pork, and chicken are the three major animals in the U.S. And man, they are feeding the steroid and hormone like nobody business. They are messing with it so we can make more money. So we eat uh, uh, animals that are not popular like ducks, ducks or quails or, you know. We it's eat not that. popular. It's not popular. Uh, people eat it but not not like every single family. It's not, high. it's not high in demand. So we're like, oh, yes. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to anything. I 
Okay, now clear this. <coughs> you can have it. Oh, I'm allergic to beef. <laughs> okay, now blue. <coughs> Remember, we're gonna do that dark blue on too. Don't forget that dark blue. That's that's pretty. Don't forget that. Ooh, that's a lot of gels. Ooh. Yeah. La 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 la. Oh my God, Vivian, Vivian Sweet is contact me this uh, week. Oh my God, oh, oh, oh my God, I love her. So this week, Vivian Sweet contact me and say, Do you know your metal fit is sold out, and um, uh, there's no way I can order from you or something. I'm like, oh my God, you love my metal fit, Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm like her stalkers. I'm like Vivian stalkers. She do like all portrait. But I don't know. I don't know if I stalk her because she do good portrait or I stalk her because she's just so cute. See, it's just so adorable. Oh my God, I love her. And I get down. Right, people feel back to you then. Yeah. Okay, it's not wasting a lot of time on planning this. Move on to the cream. Okay. What happened? <laughs> okay, now blue. Sometimes it's hard for me to blend other color with with this blue, even though without it, it, it wouldn't be special. Without other color, it wouldn't be special. But this blue is so bright. It is so bright. I don't want to blend, blend, I don't want to cover much of it. Because I know this design need, need pink too. But I just love this blue. Neat pink. I have about seven team of St. Patrick Day. I'm not doing any more St. Patrick Day. Seven team is enough because it's a short buzz. It's not like a long buzz like Christmas or Halloween where people prepare way in advance. People are going to wait until that week to prepare. So I'm going to wait until that week to post it. Green. Oh my gosh, so bright. Yesterday, there is a lady that asked me uh, about fairy tale. I said, yeah, it's glow in the dark. Mm, and it's, it's a, uh, so anyway, so she's like, oh, my God, I love it. I have to have it. And then she also go on and say, do you have me? Do you have me on? <laughs> do you have me on? Lana Chow? You say I'm gonna get a collection of fairy gel, right? Because it's glow in the dark. <laughs> and then you say, but do you have some neon lana gel too? I wanna buy it too. <laughs> I say, I say, what are you looking forward for a neon lana gel set? <laughs> say it's so bright. I say, yeah. Well, what do you think about the fairy gel? I think it's a moment to click on that you can give fairy tale for neon liner too because it's neon <laughs> it's hilarious i was like what something wrong you just in the shopping crisis that's what you are you just like to shop for something you're a product addict that's what you are <laughs> i like compact Product. So I like neon liner and I like it glow in the dark at the same time. Okay. Blend it out, blend it out. I love how the green make the blue kind of aqua too. See? And it would just be as good as neon liner gel. 
So if you don't have it, you can replace it with neon energy, okay? Okay, now. Uh, we need glitters. Sticky right on it. Oh, wait, wait, no. We need we need blue stained glass to give it that extra depth. Gosh. Something about me and this blue stained glass today. You don't want it to take too much of the brightness from around it. So remove it. Remove it. Just like this. See that? Because you still want the brightness, but that blue, it just, it makes it so much prettier. I mean, look at this fish. Look at it. Look at this fish. So, most people would be like, oh my God, but I love the bright blue. But you just have to trust the process. It, it, it will look like this, which is so pretty. You have to trust the process. Just a layer. I have designed this layer based from the inspiration picture that uh, they have sent me. So you have to just memorize this process and trust it. Trust it. It's going to be so pretty. See, blue, it just add like a depth into it, like an aura depth. You know, like an aura design. I need to teach aura design sometimes using milk. I'm going to put it in. Put the other one in. I know, right? If I am a bad guy, if I am a bad guy, I swear to you, I will sell, I will sell fairy gel, any on Lana gel. <laughs> but I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> Cause I could have sell both. I could make so much money that day, you guys. <laughs> Maybe I take fairy gel and take off the sticker and put me on Lana on and sell it. <laughs> Oh, that should make me giggle. That should make it, it. I don't know. It's refreshing. I haven't had that in a while. I just don't understand. I was just baffled. Like, once you say that, I just baffled. I was like, you do watch my live, right? You know what's going on or something. Like, how how do you find me? Because <laughs> you obviously didn't learn from me before. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, now I'm ready for glitters. I am so ready. Yes. Okay, sticky right on it and glitter right on. Okay, sticky. Oh, wait, see shadow. Where's my sticky? Sticky. Sticky right on it, sticky. Let me show you. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so see, sticky. So new bottles. And on your client now, sometimes I tilt the brush like this so it doesn't stick to, to the, the nail or I use a liner brush. Most of the time I use a liner brush. It do took a little more extra time because you have to uh, distribute it out from the palette and then use a liner brush. Okay, now pan it down. Remember, the nude that I'm using on here are top gel, which means it's no wipe, okay? So if you, um, if you don't have top gel, you have to first put on a coat of no wipe top coat before you apply this sticky and put glitter on. Because if you put glitter on and this is sticky, then it's over. The glitter is going to stick all over it. And you don't want that to happen. Yeah, it's over. Glitter will make you hate life if you apply it wrong. It will make you vengeful, vengeful. and resent. It. Oh yes, you will resent glitters if you don't do it right. You will resent it. Raw glitters, not not glitter gels. Raw glitter.
but if it's right, oh my god, it's, it's rewarding. But of course, we're not gonna use a small glitter. So small glitter is just for the fish, of course. So you can see the details, you know what I mean? But this have no detail, it's just a tip. So I am not gonna use small glitter. Why? Why use small glitter? Let's use the biggest size. I never demonstrate the large size, so I'm gonna find the large size and demonstrate it. Okay. It's medium. Okay. This this is unicorn glitz aqua is a colors and this side is a large side okay so that one i'm gonna be using big big And before I do it, I have to have a triangle tray. Close on my fairy gel. And my stained glass gel. And my shadow. My top coat. And everything back. Hot gel. All right. All the brush is on. And take out the pigment brush. And I try and put Move over here. Put the nails here. Open this. And here we go. <laughs> Tap out all the asset glitter first. Okay, now ready? The other one, same thing. And I put back. Close this. Clean all this glitter out of here. Out the triangle tray. Now I want you to dust this. Like this. Tap a few times. Dust this too. Yeah, tap a few times. Now, I don't know if you know the dimension of the glitter, but it's a circle. Do you know that glitter is a circle shape? Glitter is not in square shape, it's in circle shape. You know, it'd be better if it's square. <laughs> it's in circle shape. Here is one speck of glitters. Let's draw it much bigger so you can see it. There is one speck of glitters. Just one speck. Okay, just a speck. So when it lay on the background <laughs> like this, it's flat against the surface. So if you have large glitter, what happens is the large side is not going to fit in the middle. So there will be a gap in between the large glitters. You know what I mean? See the gap? You see it? You see it? Like that, there's some right here that doesn't have glitters. Like some right here. See that piece of pink doesn't have glitter? That's right here doesn't have glitter. It's because the dust in the process, it, it doesn't feel like, like this one is all filled. That is still gap, but human eye couldn't really see it. This is really up close. That's still gap, but it's so small. You know what I mean? 
with a bigger circle. So what I do is I have large glitter and then I dust in a fan layer of small glitter and it'll fit right in. Okay. So let's get our small glitters. Where is it? This medium. Oh, this small. So I get our small unicorn aqua clips. Again, with a triangle tray, I make sure I dust it out so I don't, when I pour it back in, I'm not contaminating the sides. You don't want to contaminate the sides. Okay. Have a lid. Get out. See that? And your brush, make sure you tap all of this out. You don't want contamination because that's cut inconsistency. You know, you don't want large glitter to be in your um, small glitters jar and you don't want vice versa you don't want small glitter to be contaminating a large glitters because then what if you only need one side you know what i mean so you don't want to do that dust all over it like this so now now it just feel all in okay me that's so pretty let's do it again i'll do this one too And I'm just going to reuse what down here and I'm just going to throw it all away. It's only a little bit. It's not much. And when you dust it on top of the surface, one or two last step, it can fall off and you don't want, you don't want to contaminate your glitter. So I just throw the rest away. Here this. I mean, close it. Okay, now dust it up, dust it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's correct. It is correct, Missy. Missy Flynn. Yeah. So it's filled in. So it's, it's packed more. You know what I mean? With glitters. It's cool more. I mean, if you don't do it, it's still pretty. But I just show you the concept. So you understand glitter a little more. There are also things about glitter that need to be understood. It's an element. First, you have to know what it's made of. You know what I mean? You have to really look a, glit a speck of glitter up close. There is bad glitter and good glitter out there. If you ever use a glitter that is so like thick, that when you put top coat on it, it just too thick. The wall is too thick. That's cheap glitter. That is like Hobby Lobby glitters. So that is a different. I have been using glitter for a while. I know that's different. Um, that is cosmetic glitter, super flat. But here, this is surface nicely. So it's cheap glitter usually people mix with acrylic because you don't apply it on a thin surface. So it's good. it works for acrylic if it's not bleeding. Uh, did you cure the sticky? Yes, I did. I did cure the sticky. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, first I'm going to matte it to protect everything. And then I'm going to continue. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, now don't get too excited. Anything can happen. Okay, so let's... It's already kind of this set is already like seduced me a little bit, which is it's, it's already giving me like a little seduction, but I need more. More, it's going in a good direction. Matte, everything matte. I love these finger by the way, it's so like magical. Lightly, please, because you don't want too harsh. You might drag glitter right here. Now it's sticky and it lay flat, but still you don't want to be too harsh on it. You might scrape the glitter off and you don't want that. Just lightly mat here. My thumb my thumb start to hurt a little right here. I don't know why. Yeah. I might move it wrong or something. One speck. You don't want to cure that speck. It can be very obvious. Imagine a beautiful set and then one speck of glitter right there. It happened to me before. I resent it. I resent that set. The whole set? The whole set. Based on just one glitter, I like, man, 
I was like, I was an idiot, and then I resent it. Oh my God, look at it, Matt. Oh, this is a must. This is a must with Matt. Oh my God. Oh. Mwah. That's good. That is great. That's great. Okay, now, I, I didn't see it coming, but sometimes it surprised me. You know what I mean? Sometimes just to, just to see the color is surprising. It's like, wow. I didn't expect it to be like that. Visual. Sometimes visual can surprise you. The knowing it and to actually see it sometimes can be uh, can make a big difference. Okay, now black line all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Missy Flame says, well, when you add that line, it's make the whole difference. The little touch make a big difference. Absolutely. Color play a very important draw in nail design. Color can make all the difference. Contrast, contrast. That's why I'm very specific about like having like um like a shade of pink or a certain shade of blue. Kiss. Oh, and if uh, let's say like this, okay, the Y I didn't top coat it. So you can do that, but you have to make sure that it's clear like twice. It, and especially don't do it too thick. You don't want to do it too thick. If it thick, then clear it like twice to make sure. Like this, you can clear it again. Um, I am thinking about three um, texture gel, clear texture gel. I am not sure. I'm going to see. It might not be a good idea, actually to add a uh, texture on here because that would ruin the glitters. I still want to see it. I still want to see it, but I don't think it'll look pretty. I'm just curious. I'm curious just in case it's pretty and I totally miss it. So I want to use some clear texture gels. Let's see. I see a, a, a blue aura that is generated. You guys cannot see the blue aura though. See, it can reflect it so you can see it. Mm. You couldn't see it. Only my eye can see it. For you, it's just a clear blob. I see that blue aura. I need to decide if I need to go with it. Mm. 
No, it's more elegant without it. All right. Let's see. What I got left is bedazzle. That's it. Yeah, it's prettier without. Because of that texture, that matte glitter texture, that's everything. Cause if I'm gonna do the, the 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 other one, I might as well just put shine on it. Cause on on chrome, that's different. On chrome, it's smoother. So it's when it's matte, when you put texture on, <clears throat> you see the land, right? You see all the embossed land because it's smooth. Glitter is not smooth. It have all the um, vibration or the movement. So when you put on the land on, to me, that's just confusing. Just like. Is that embossed or is that glitter? What is it? You know, it's confusing. So to me, that is pretty. Pisces. I want to say happy birthday to all the Pisces out here. And on this live, I hope that you have fun making your birthday set. This is your birthday set. And I wish that you can produce it for your, all your Pick a Pisces client. How um about new part uh use texture? Um, no, it's gaudy. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And uh, I'm gonna put some crystal right here, some crystal right here, uh, probably around here too. And that should be it for my um Pisces set. On the thumb, I will probably do in um. On the thumb, I probably do in this right here see design right here but uh give a little twist to it yeah you have sound and video relay it might be lacking usually in the morning it's lacking and at night it doesn't for some reason beautiful um to know that you so much for doing this oh you're welcome you're welcome the ancient nail text you're welcome let me see. All right, I have to finish season four. What what uh what video you got? Tino does it again. Thank you, Missy Flem. Let's see. Are we done? Thank you. Thank you, Jen, for telling them. Uh, I think Matt look um Matt took it from looking like glitter on now um to looking like more like scale. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm hmm. I'm attracted to it. I'm, I'm very attracted to it. Um, not so much a matte solid glitter because matte solid glitter. I don't know. I'm, I don't feel it. But when you uni, uh, like unicorn glitter like this, and and it have because it have a base and have a tone. But when it's matte, it just turns out like something else. Thank you, thank you, lady. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome to in May. Tino, my nail genius, yeah. love watching, learning our way. Oh, thank you, Missy Flame. Are we having another live tonight? No, tonight I'm, we don't have another live tonight. Tonight I have to bedazzle all my set, so I can go ahead and take the picture in the morning tomorrow because I'm fresh out content. This morning, my last one with the abstract butterfly, I have no video left to post, so I need to, I need to take videos. This is the best color edition that I have ever seen. Thank you, thank you. This morning. Mm. I was torn this morning. I'd be like, I sit there and I'm like, I want to do a golden koi. And I'm like, but what background? Black? And I'm like, mm, that's a little dark and depressing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I think of Pisces, I think of galaxy. So I'm like, maybe I have a galaxy background. But what color is going to be a Pisces? You know what I mean? Like, if the background is colorful, then the Pisces, fish, I'm afraid of fish. I'm afraid of fish because it have fin and, and tail and all the all the little thing coming out of its body. With a complicated background, it totally will kick it out. It totally will confuse people. So I'm like, oh, get up, see, it doesn't work. What else? What else can I do? You know, and I think about red koi fish, like, no, that's Japanese team. They like that too. Like, no. And then that is when I found that picture, that inspo picture that that lady sent me. Can can you give me me again that iPad so I can show them the inspiration one more time? Because now you get to see the whole set. 
I was scanning to my inspo because sometimes when people find pretty pictures they send me, I save it. I save it. And I found this. Oh my God. So I found this. Uh, a lady sent it to me a while back saying, you know, can you do this? Like, okay. But I, it's been like two months. I just keep looking at it. Like, it was so pretty. But I have never had a chance to because um, I'm not going to draw that. Sometimes when an object is so pretty in the picture on the nail, it can look funny. So I'm not going to draw like this, that whole thing on the nails. So I'm, I have to borrow that inspiration. I'm like, hmm. okay, one day I'm going to do it. Like a peacock or something. Or like an evil mermaid or something. I don't know. But this morning, the Pisces said, I'm like, wait a minute. I love this color. I can make it this color, so that is it. See that, that blue. So remember that stained glass gel. Okay. Hi, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Awesome. It's so pretty in real life and in camera. In camera, it's a little blurry. The color, a little blurry in camera. Um, out here, it's very rich. It's very rich in colors. Let me see. Yeah, it's very rich. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my Pisces. Okay, I'm over it. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow. I wonder what is on tomorrow. Cause oh, dragon. This isn't dragon tomorrow. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Uh, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, all right. All right, everyone. Camera is never quite translate color perfectly. I know, right? Uh, I don't know if you see that video footage of the Samsung, whatever. The Samsung that they have, they put it on like a leaf forest and 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 the iPhone beside it, camera both turn on. And you can see the iPhone, but you cannot see the Samsung because the color was so exact. But whatever, I'm still not a Samsung fan. Even though they have kick-ass camera, I'm still an iPhone fan. I would never change. I would never, I would never change to Samsung. Oh, what, what? It's not Samsung. Android. That's so what it is. It's Android. It's, it's hideous. It's not pretty like iPhone. I can tell that a, a, a dude made it and not Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs is elegant, sophisticated. I can tell that a dude making Samsung. It's so like, it's so robotic. Like a robot. It's like working with a robot. Compare with me, guy, on TikTok. Ooh, when? When are you doing it? When are you uh, on TikTok? Ooh, that means that's going to be my first time on TikTok. <sighs> Oh, that's exciting too. Uh, I'll be there, Matt. Oh, angelic vampire. Good. Are you going to paint with Matt too? I come later. See you later. Okay. All right. So I'm out of here. I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to make that video. going to order some food. <sighs> yeah, I can tell. Even though they have good, good iPhone and camera. I can tell, I can tell that a dude made it. No, no elegantness to it, no certification. Gosh. Uh, Matt said, I want to do one of your designs. Yeah, it's, you know, come join me. Oh, you going after this? I have to make video after this. Mm. Hey, take, take me when you're going to be on live. If you have a schedule. Oh my God, that'd be awesome to join. I never do that before. I uh, let me see. Any more questions? Um, bye, bye, Chen. Goodbye. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh, tonight we're not. Thank you, Mama V. We're not gonna have another live set tonight. Uh -huh. So uh, you're gonna see me again tomorrow. You're welcome, Habibi Nails. Can you do dinosaur set? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I'm not a big fan of dinosaur. If I go dinosaur, I'd rather go dragon. So I don't know yet. Maybe the little cute dinosaur that in a game, like, doo, 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 like little alligator dinosaur. I don't know. Little mid, like a midget. It's like a midget dragon. You know what I mean? Like a short, short leg. Like, um, 
นะใส่อ่า yes come watch on when you can okay Tino I would love to join you seriously yes uh, I cannot do it right after this I have to um I have to do video I have to like prepare for it I have to prepare mentally prepare not physically prepare I have to be like mentally get into that mode so I can be like okay I'm gonna go on live and then when I do a uh, video this time this time I have to plan it out in that day it doesn't need to be planned far thank you Karen <coughs> bye 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 angelic vampires um I'm gonna text you we can set a day we can plan together yes yeah oh my god they're gonna be so fun <gasps> why are we gonna paint oh my god that's gonna be fun oh my god why are we gonna paint <gasps> uh, it's okay we can plan another day yes I'm gonna message you the final time again. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm free. I'm free. Like this week, next week, I'm free. It's gonna be like another two weeks in, uh, until I have to like see in client. All right, bye bye everyone. Bye bye. See you later. Okay.